Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to my Android Crypto. Today we have Solar SXP and we are going to try and figure out where you should be buying. Before we continue, do not forget to join our monthly subscription as the bull cycle is here. We have the best trading system in the crypto space. I have been working in crypto since 2017 and professionally since 2020 to 2021. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Let's start with SXP. So right here you can see that we are having a huge correction going because after the 0.94 we had a minus 27%. Look at that. Huge correction coming in for the longs around here. Around there we talked about that we should be having a little bit of a high risk due to the fact that the RSI approached the 90s and whenever the RSI is approaching the 90s what you should be doing? You should be exiting the market of course. Right here you can see that we got trapped and then these short positions were to take place because the Fed saw it and they saw that this was a good opportunity for them to short and take profits even even lower. Right now, what are the next price targets? Where can we go and what you should be looking forward to? I'm going to have two Fibonacci's. I'm going to explain the reason behind it, but this is a very important Fibonacci and this is a very important as well. I want to draw two fibs for the mid-term and for the shorter term. And you can see that the first support level that we are going to have, it is the point 68.69 around there where we saw it and we reached. Okay, so right here you can see that we are going to have a good support entry. That's why in the lower time frames, we have a little bit of a buying pressure. This is going to be our first good support level. And perhaps SXP might be finding a little bit of a buying pressure right here. Now, if you see SXP closing below in the 4-hour frame this line, then be prepared to see the next target, which will be the point 65. So simple, so sophisticated, provided by Bill. I'm just talking about sophisticated, but it is simple. Okay, trust me on that. Trading needs huge, huge patience. Other than that, if you have it, then you're going to trade with a good knowledge, okay? Crypto market is a little bit tricky because of the, of the price fluctuations, because of the huge volatility, but at the end of the day, you can make it, okay? So SXP, 0.6871. You can see that this line right here could serve as a major support level and perhaps we could be having a good buying entry. However, a good bank opportunity, sorry. However, I'm not saying by now, at least, that we are going to have a higher low pattern, okay? In any time frames right here, I'm not saying that we are going to have something like this and we are going to approach the point 94 from here. But what we can do, it is to simply re-approach, for example, the point 70, the point 72, perhaps the point 73, 5, and so on, okay? It could be happening, could be the case right now. But for what I want to say right now, it is that you should be a little bit careful, okay? As we have a very huge risk in the daily frame, we still have, and this is a good support level, but not the strongest one. I would say that this whole area right here will serve as the pivot point, the bullish pivot point. If we close below even the 0.65, expect a huge correction after. And most likely, this won't be the last support level. And I'm talking about the point 56.66. Okay, this will serve as a major support level, but perhaps what we are going to do, retest of this point 65, and then we are going down. So we do not want to close below the point 65, either in the four hour frame or the daily frame. I will repeat that, either in the four hour frame or the daily frame. What we would like it is to hold these two support levels, this support level area, I would say. In the lower time frames, there is a good chance that we find a little bit of a buying pressure, but this won't be something huge. I repeat that. For those that want to think that this is the bottom, it won't be something huge. But it's a nice short-term trading scalping strategy for those that want to take a little bit of a high risk. Okay, it, we could be having a small buying pressure by the time that we are in right here, you can see that we have already approached the first support level, so a good buying pressure is very, 
very likely the second goodbye pers buying pressure will happen at the point 65 and there could be the case that we go there or down retest and then go down again or go down and retest and then we start the next impulsive wave for SXP because of course we are having a high risk of course we are going to go a little bit further down but do not forget that this XP has been going above the 20 day EMA, 200 day moving average, sorry, 200 day. It has been going with a bullish cross, 20 day EMA, 50 day EMA, bullish cross right here, you can see. And it is looking quite good, right? I think that it is looking pretty, pretty good into the higher time frames. If we go, for example, into the weekly scale, of course, we are having a correction until now. Of course, we have a little bit of a high risk. However, a nice breakout has happened at the weekly scale as well. And if we are going to see a little bit of the higher time frames, then what I'm going to do, it is simply I'm going to draw the Fibonacci from the top to the bottom. And you can see the reason that I was talking about at the first video of the SXP, the 0 0.71, 75, a little bit further down, this should be the case. Okay, around here, okay. So around the 0 0.71, 68. If we do not close above in the weekly scale, then do not enter long positions for the longer time frames. If we close above in the weekly, it is very likely that SXP will be going to 107. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to join our monthly subscription and see you soon with many, many more videos. Bye.